Welcome, this is item number 24 on the release spring 2014 test questions for 7th grade TCAP math. So the question says, what value, what is the value of the equation, sorry, what value of x is the solution to the equation? They na they have the directions on these, and it's the exact same question, 10 different ways over time. But 3 times the quantity x minus 8 over 4 is the same as 1 half. Now there are a bunch of ways to get this correctly. I'll show you the way they want you to do it at the end. I thought I'd show you in the front what they want, what you could do to make this go by maybe a little bit faster. I know you may have time constraints you have to work with. So the reality is, all I have to do is make one side of the equation equal to the other. So if I take the fact that they are ridiculous enough to do a multiple choice question like this, you can abuse that fact and substitute in for x and see if you get it equal to one half. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So. Uh, Depending on how your calculator sets up, it may or may not let you do the kind of advanced stuff that you would need. But if they will, like I want to do fraction over fraction, and this one will totally let me. So uh, 3 times x minus 8, I'll try 10 over 3. And I just need to click down. The hard part about doing this way is that you have to make sure that you click down and around and out whenever you need it. So 10 thirds minus 8. Close that out. And then that's supposed to be over 4. If this is the correct answer, it will equal one half. And I hit enter, and no. It's not one half, so you know this is not the right answer. So what I might do is skip on down one to the next one. I'll hit this uh, fraction button again. And by the way, if it doesn't do a fraction button, just do three uh, parentheses, 26 divided by three, minus eight parentheses, hit enter, then divide that by four, and see if it gives you one half, which is 0.5. You might even need to go as far as doing 1 divided by 2 in your calculator and looking for this. If that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. It depends on your calculator. So anyway, I'll do C just because I think it's the right answer. If it's not, then I'm just totally wasting your time for no reason, which, why, you know, whatever. Sorry. Uh, so minus 8. Close that out. And over 4. So. All that's set up, it's exactly like it should look here. I divide by 4, that whole thing, hit enter. It gives me 6 over 2, but that's not 1 half. But hold on, can I reduce it? The other one was negative, I knew it was wrong. So simplify, simplify again. If you're lucky, you have a calculator that's already max, max simplified. But if you don't, you have to simplify it all the way out. You notice 1 half came up twice, that means that's the simplified version of the answer. So this side equals 1 half this side equals one half when I substitute this in so I know th the answer is 26 over 3. That's one way you could do it. Um, if your calculator is less advanced probably like I said want to type it in to do like it doesn't have a fraction button what you could try is just doing 3 times 26 divided by 3 minus 8. Lucky for us, the order of operations says divide has to come before subtraction, so it'll work it out in a normal fashion. And hit enter, and then divide by 4, and then there it is, 0. 0.5, just like this one would be. And if you need to know what 1 half is as a fraction, or as a decimal, just do 1 divided by 2. See how they're the same number? You know that's the right answer once you substitute it in. What do they really want you to do? That's not what they want you to do. They want you to do a proportion. They want you to do 4 times 1, and get 4, and set that equal to uh, 2 times 3x minus 8. So what I'm going to do is actually just do this part first, and that will give me 3x, and then 3 minus 8 is equal to 24, and it's, since it's minus 8, it's negative 24. Then I'll do 2 times 3x minus 24. So I'll need to do distributive property here, solving for x. 6x, 3 times 2, 2 times negative 24 is negative 48. Add 48 to both sides. Looking at 52 here. Divide by 6 on both sides because I need to get rid of times 6x. X is equal to, and it goes in, oh, they want you to just reduce it down. So 2 goes into both. Uh, 2, 26, and 6, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So you get 
that. So this, the longer way is what they want you to do, or some version of it. By the way, if you wanted to do 2 times 3 and do 6 times x minus 8, it'll get you the same place, just, just so you know that. Um, it's totally fine to do it that way, too. Um, if you just want to substitute the answer in and set it, see if it equals one half, that's a perfectly viable method under these conditions as well. And it might save you a little bit of time depending on how fast you are at solving equations versus how fast you are uh, plugging in stuff into the calculator or substituting and uh, getting your answer. So choose your own adventure, whatever is best for you. All that matters is you, you get the right answer, really. That's what the state will look at to determine whether they should give you more obnoxious tests like this or maybe they should change their tact. Of course, they may be immune to that too, but we hope not. That's it.